All right, YouTube, what is going on? So, I just got another shipment from Sweden. And this one only took um, a week and a half. So that's outstanding. I was expecting it to be at least a month. I think, what was that other one? Was it, was it five weeks I waited or more? I can't even remember. Um, but this thing showed up way before I thought. So that's great. So let's get started here. Um, if you remember on my, uh, the little rucksack for the, the bicycle one, M39, it didn't have straps. You know, they sent me replacement straps. So th these things may have fallen when the other one was shipped or they didn't have it. Either way, now I can complete that thing and I think I may sell that. I'm not 100% sure yet or not, but this will make it a lot easier having a full set. Um, these things are useful for anything uh, lashing down anyway. It's in that nice um, brown color. Cool. Um, all right. So I got a used KLAS. Um, so this thing is obviously used almost all of the paint is worn here doesn't really matter because it's still functional there's nothing here I do have a replacement um, shovel head if I wanted to put it on there I don't think I really need to um, but this is I'm not sure if I'm gonna give this as a gift to somebody or if I'm going to sell it. I may have to sell it just to support my stupid habit of uh, collecting things. Um, anyway, I, mean, I can use it too. Um, what's the next one? So here I've got a, I think it's from the 50s or 60s and this is a thermos. Um, now I'm kind of upset because you can see here it is broken and uh, I'm pretty sure this thing was intact when it was sent to me. It's just the way Daniel packed it in between heavy things. So I think just during shipping it ended up cracking this. I don't know how easy or difficult it would be to replace this. It is threaded. Um, with these thermoses also, um, you know, it's got the glass inside. It's insulated steel. And uh, this is using a cork. So some of the somewhat newer ones have like a rubber stopper. I think I kind of like the cork better. I think this will last longer than a uh, rubber one would, but I'm not an expert on that. Um, but I don't know. I don't even know if I really need this. I just thought it was kind of interesting. Uh, this thing only holds uh, half a liter, 500 milliliters. Um, so uh, I don't think it's even that, I mean, I can use it. It's just such a small reservoir. I guess I would, um, at camp, I would put in some coffee or something like that inside of here to keep it warm. Or if I want to put something cold in there, I guess, and then put it in my day pack when I'm out and about. All right, so now I got two. Um, more knives and these things are unused they've just been well this one I'm gonna say is not this one has been used but it's in very good condition I can see stuff on it this one has not been used it's just been in storage so long see it's lost some of the luster on here this one's stamped with a KJ Mora um, just has the basic um, 
sheath on there. And what I don't like about these, if, if you're not careful, they, they come out of here very easily. Um, but what makes these a little bit different than the more modern ones is the thickness on the spine here. Um, it's thicker. Um, and you can kind of see on there how wide the blade is too. But I mean, just the thickness on it is thicker than the current more knives that are being produced. Um, I bought at least one of these that I'll keep. I'll probably keep this one. It's probably gonna be difficult to try to sell this one. This one would be much easier to sell because of its condition, looks better. And I could still clean this up. It would probably sell, but I ruined my old, my old one from the uh, 70s. Um, wasn't being smart. I went, I shucked uh, oysters with it and tore it up. Well, got two of those. All right, so then what else we got? Uh, I always love to see these things. You know, obviously this thing is the um, mess kit. And uh, this is aluminum, obviously. As you can tell, there's two lines here. Um, plus it's just a mill aluminum. Let me know if they, what the burner looks like. But this is unused, so this is, uh, it's, it's difficult to find these now. You know, it's not like when uh, Sportsman's Guide had them in the, the 2000s to 2010 where you could get two for 20 bucks or whatever they had, like on the stainless ones. Um, these things are very difficult to find in unused condition. Um, there's two colors you can get. This is the gray color and then they have the green. So the gray is actually just a a gray olive drab versus a yellow olive drab on the green ones. Uh, and this is a SVEA 65. Um, as usual, got crack, a couple micro cracks on this, but the burner is 100% intact it doesn't even look like this one's been used at all it's just been in storage forever so usually when i get something like this this might be unused but all these things are used these look like never used look at that it's just the nc68 and then i've got the bottle that's just a melarude uh, made in 1966 um, so that's pretty exciting for me. Uh, this one I think I'll probably sell, although I may give it as a gift once again to somebody. Um, all right, so we're done with that. I've been looking at this the whole time, right? So when I, here's the problem without going and talking to the seller or seeing things directly, um, things don't always translate from Swedish to English. And uh, I originally ordered this thing to be an unused one. Uh, what I was sent was a used one in, I guess, very good condition, possibly excellent, but I haven't looked too close at it. Um, you see here that the, the color is not uh, faded as much as a lot of these are. Um, and these come in two different colors. I think one's like a khaki color, and then this is the dark green. This is what, this is the color I prefer. Um, now they did give me a discount though because you know, I asked for an unused one. This is obviously not 
this is used. It's in great condition. It's got a leather, it's got a leather closure here. So I'm not sure. I think this is what originally came with these, but you know, usually when people are reselling these, this thing is disintegrated and they're just using regular twine or um, paracord, things like that. So that's pretty cool. I'm gonna have to take this thing out and uh, kind of treat it and be delicate with it. Although, you know, it is somewhat dry. It's not completely dry. It is still pliable and it's not um, falling apart. But that's just the M39 rucksack. And, uh, you know, obviously, um, I just wanted to, I've never had one of this one exactly. So what you saw me on another video, which I no longer have, is the M35 variant. So the M35 is still the same, about 40 liter size, but it had three pockets, one here and two side ones. Um, obviously it's got the frame. These things are meant to go on to your ammunition belt or another belt. Now you see a lot of people showing these using this waist belt and then attaching this hook onto that waist belt. I don't think that was the intent of this. This is more just to help keep it from swaying on your back. Um, now these A frames, I think are comfortable it's you know my body it's the right size for this so it doesn't doesn't kill me wearing this so I'm fine with with this this thing's small enough I'm not gonna overstuff it and then you know feel like a lot of weight on here so uh, I am disappointed this is not unused because now it makes it problematical for me to try to sell this um, if I decide I want to sell this thing with that as my intention I want to get an unused one and then be able to sell it there's a lot of them out there that are used maybe they're not in this condition but uh, there's it's saturated with these things online so it's difficult to find a buyer at the right price if I try to sell this I might just break even uh, I've, I'll probably lose money because of all the shipping. I had to pay a lot of shipping for this large. All right, and then of course here we've got gas mask bag. Oh, and this one, I can't see if that has a stamp. Sometimes they have a stamp, a unit stamp. Does not look like it, but I haven't even cleaned this up or anything. Um, it's just a classic look and obviously this thing works excellent to carry this because it's just the perfect size. Um, this one I'm going to say is probably made in uh, the 40s but they don't put a specific stamp on all of these. All I've got is the uh, Swedish defense plus the three crowns. So um, this is something that I'm gonna kind of clean up and treat this to protect it. Um, I will I will resell this one. I've got three bags. I've got two brown and greens and one gray one. This is really just to on my eBay to have extra items related to the other Swedish stuff. Um, that's the main reason I get those. But these things are made so well and they look, in my opinion, cool. I know other people are gonna say I'm a nerd or something like that, but that's fine. Whatever, that's my opinion. Uh, last thing. Oh, there's only one in here that I've got. An axe head. Now I won't show you the name because I got in trouble from uh, Grand Forest about a certain brand. But anyway, this is just an unused 
old stock four pound um, axe head. Very large, very nice. And this will help me recoup some of my money. Um, these things are really hit or miss. Uh, most of the time I'm making maybe five dollars profit max. Um, you just gotta figure that I'm paying extraordinary um, shipping on 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 the weight. So four pounds or 1.9 kilograms and I've got two of them plus the weight of this is about three kilograms around six pounds all the other stuff it really adds up um, these guys are in the middle of nowhere Daniel's in the middle of nowhere so there's no like just dis discounted uh, shipping and then when I order I never know how fast or slow the thing's gonna be here so anyway that's all I got today if you guys have some questions or comments I will reply as soon as I can and uh, you guys have a good one Let's see if I can stop this with my smartwatch since I'm not smart <laughs>